Hello everybody, it's Yashar here, back again with another video, and in this video I'm quickly going over the latest earnings report of Granite Rate, which was released yesterday after the closing bell. I think I'm the only one, or at least one of the few people on the internet, and especially YouTube, that talks about this Canadian REIT, and in my opinion, Granite is the best real estate investment trust in Canada in terms of the fundamentals of their business, and I will show you some graphs to back up my claim. AFFO per share or adjusted funds from operation per share, growth rate, net asset value, debt level, and payout ratio are the most important matrix for a REIT. Good, good REITs, in general, usually able to grow their AFFO per share by almost 2 or 2 3% year over year. First thing first, if you look at Granite REIT, you will see that they were able to grow their AFFO per share by almost 8% year over year in the last 5 years. And with these new earnings, even faster, over 10% year over year in the last year. They achieved these numbers while we are in, an, in a verge of a recession and e-commerce businesses are not in top of their cycle in terms of their revenue and warehousing needs. They were able to grow their AFFO per share almost four times faster than good rates in the market. This is an extremely fast growth rate for Granite and I really like to see these numbers. Their debt to asset ratio is at a very healthy level for a real estate company at around only 35%, which is great. This company is not in any risk in terms of the debt. They grew their dividend consistently in the last couple of years by around 4% year over year, and their payout ratio consistently went down. And right now it is only 68%, which means Granite has a lot of cash each month to reinvest in themselves, pay off their debt, buy new properties, buy back the shares, and raise the dividend. This is by far the best fundamentals I see in any Canadian REIT, and that's why I call Granite the best Canadian REIT in the market. For those of you who are not familiar with this company, Granite is a Canadian real estate company which can give you exposure to physical properties in the areas of logistics, industrial warehouses in North America and Europe. They have already a diversified portfolio of various industrial and logistical properties in six countries around the world, including Canada, US, Netherlands, Germany, Austria, and Czech Republic. The largest tenant of Granite is Magna, followed by Amazon, and we can see very established businesses like Samsung, Walmart, and Wayfair among their tenants. I believe they, report, they reported amazing numbers in the recent earnings. Let's quickly go over the key numbers. Revenue is up 19% year over year. Net operating income up almost 18% year over year. The most important metric, adjusted funds from operation or AFFO, was $1.80 per unit for this quarter versus $1 per unit last year. An 18% increase year over year, which is absolutely amazing number for a REIT. AFFO payout ratio is now 68% versus 77% last year, which is again impressive. Finally, the shocking number, the number of shares, the number of units actually decreased this year over year. REITs usually dilute shareholders massively to fund their operations, but this REIT actually bought back the shares when the shares were trading at a discount, which I love to say this. Overall, I was extremely happy with the numbers that Granite Street Management Team reported in this earnings report and will continue to hold my shares in Granite. Let's quickly plug in the numbers in the recent earnings to my discounted future FFO calculator and see what is the fair value of Granite Street based on these numbers. To start building the model, I imported a series of general parameters from Granite Street earnings report like the current share price, their adjusted funds from operation, their number of shares, their total liabilities, total non-cash assets, and their cash on hand. I also put my expected rate of return to be 10% for this stock as I consider Granite to be a relatively safe investment. Now in this model, I will calculate the fair value of the REIT by projecting their future funds from operation and then discount the terminal value and future AFFOs minus the liabilities of the company back into the present value of the REIT based on three different scenarios. In the bear case or the most negative case for the REIT, I consider them to dilute you to raise capital by 4%, have almost 5% share-based compensation to reward executives during this time, and be able to grow their AFFO by 10% in the short term, 8% in the mid term, and eventually by only 6% in the long term. I considered a terminal multiple of 18, which is in agreement with historical bear periods of this stock. For base case or normal case, I considered a little bit lower amount of share dilution, 
better growth and a terminal multiple of 20, which is historically an average multiple for a similar industrial REIT in Canada. Finally, in the bull case or the best possible outcome, I considered 0% share dilution, only 3% share based compensation, 20% short term, 16% mid term, and 12% long term growth, and a terminal multiple of 24, which is a bull multiple for this company. Now, if I hit calculate, the software will give some valuable information about this REIT based on my assumptions. First, it gives you a summary of net asset value analysis. As you can see here, Granite is currently trades at an almost 19% discount to its net asset value, which is something I like to see here. Next, it gives you information about discounted AFFO analysis. It shows you the intrinsic value of the stock in each scenario, and then it will provide you with a fair value estimate, which is around $103 per share for Granite rate. And compared to the current share price, Granite trades at a 28% discount today, based on this analysis. It is a buy according to this model. As you see in the video, Granite passed four out of four quality indicators, and it is undervalued according to the NAV analysis and discounted future AFFO model. I think Granite is a still a great buy here. There you are guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you enjoyed the video and my coverage of earnings report of Canadian companies, consider subscribing to channel to see similar videos. I will wait for my other Canadian companies, especially Brookfield Corporation earnings report to hopefully cover those as well. But until that time, I see you guys in the next video. Farewell.